Today I'll talk about newly released Hybrid Pro 2 and compare them to older and well-known Hybrid Pro and Pro HD. So Pro 2s are here to replace plain old Hybrid Pro, the one without HD in the end. I don't have one right now, but I used to have them, so I'll be talking about them too. In short, I liked their look and feel, but I didn't like the sound of Hybrid Pro. They offered aggressively V-shaped frequency response, they're very bassy and the bass is not well controlled. Highs are very bright and sharp, mids are recessed and have no fullness whatsoever. Sound stage is cluttered and there is no sense of space. For me that was a sound I just couldn't enjoy, so I gifted them to my little cousin. But Pro HD here, they actually sound much cleaner than the plain Hybrid Pro, especially the bass line, which is very well controlled and you can actually hear articulate bass notes. Some may argue that it could be more weighty, but in my book that's much better than listening to a bloated mess. Highs on these are detailed, but unfortunately very pronounced and fatiguing after longer listening. Mids are again recessed and thin sounding, which is a weak link of all Xiaomi hybrids unfortunately. Now I would probably use EQ with Pro HD to tone down high frequencies a little bit and maybe pull up lower mids a little bit, because their natural signature is just too bright and aggressive for my taste. But overall clearness and cleanness is good. Now about the Pro 2 here, which are the new ones. Well, they fall somewhere between Pro and Pro HD. Compared to the first Pros, these sound a little bit better balanced. For example, bass is toned down a little bit, and I think clarity is better a little bit too but they are still not very resolving and clean. And like all hybrids, they are also bright and edgy with highs. Now compared to Pro HD, these are just not as clear or resolving. Everything sounds muddier, so it's a definite step down from HD model. Now in terms of build quality, I like these new Pro 2s. They're made of aluminum too, and they're light. But the cable doesn't fold very well, as you can see here. On the other hand, Pro HDs feels much heavier and more substantial than other two. The cable is also thicker and more tangle-free. So considering that and better sound quality, they're easily the best hybrids among these three. And they cost just a few bucks extra. I bought them for $20 and these for $17. The price difference is not that big at all. And it's more than justified for HD model. So there you go. Pro HDs are the best overall in terms of build quality and sound quality. And when you count in the price, I believe they are the best bang for buck too. So if you're in a market for some of these, my advice is not to skimp and go straight for the HD model. It will be worth it.